No, 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 only 999, actually 999. Uh, after a decade of speculation followed by years of construction, opening night at Little Caesars Arena is finally here. Doze, doors opened up just a few minutes ago, in fact, for the first ticketed event. Our Jason Colthorpe is inside the LCA on a big night. Jason. Yeah, Devin, you're not the only one anticipating this. The doors open to the lucky ticket holders, but the folks are waiting for the 6 o'clock hour to get in here. It's hard to see them, but they're waiting to get in here. And I can sum it up when you first walk in the doors here with two words, mind blown. I mean, this is the Chevy entrance. What else would you expect to see but a Corvette on the wall? And you look around and you just see homages to Red Wings and Pistons past. I mean, you've got the Gordy Howe statue from the Joe over here. A lot of tributes like that. And as you walk around, you mentioned it earlier, Devin, a lot of technological things that are super cool, like things, interactive things for fans as you walk by this little pixel board. Of course, it won't work when we do it. But when you walk by, it like takes the image of the person walking by. We knew that wouldn't work when we did it live. It's just amazing. But uh, kind of looking down the hallway here, uh, see now it worked. But you've got the restaurants, District Market, the Kid Rock Restaurant, Mike's Pizza Place, and four restaurants. They all open tonight for the first time, six o'clock when the doors open. And of course, as we say, we've got Kid Rock, uh, Uncle Cracker's gonna be here tonight. And this doesn't come without controversy. They're expecting protesters outside. And we're hearing there could be counter protesters. We're gonna be following all of that. And of course, covering this concert, letting you know how it goes. We're gonna wrap it all up at 11 o'clock. But the cool thing about this arena, keep in mind is, all year round, this whole area you're looking at behind me is open. You can go to the restaurants, you can take a tour and walk around as much as possible when there's not games and things like that. But so much of this is interactive and it's designed for the fans. And it really is. It's a lot like being in Las Vegas. If you ever walk around some of those huge casinos, it's like being in a little city and that's what this feels like. A lot of people got to get down here and see it. And they'll be here pretty soon. Doors opening in. 25 minutes, guys. Well, that's, that's what you. they're really trying to work their way around, Jason. When you think about it, an arena that has a sports team in it is only open a very few relative nights of the year. Uh, the idea is to try and activate this place uh, every night of the year, right? And those four restaurants, exactly, Devin, will be open all year round. And when those are open, there's uh, the, the shops, the, um, the sports shop is going to be open all year round. So, And that's a huge place. We didn't even go into that today. but. To see a lot to do for fans to get here for sure all yeah. right thank you jason they did the sound check at four they were sounding pretty good you 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 got the we, we yeah. got the live listen yeah, earlier yeah, yeah.